Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to remove the sway bar bushings. Uh, I just replaced my sway bar links and on the passenger side it's still good but I noticed that the driver's side is bad. So we're going to go ahead and remove that and the rack and pinions leaking as well. Damn, it's going to be a hassle. But I did notice that there's a bolt up here, right? Let's see if I can see it on the camera. Right behind here. Oh, there it is. Right there. It does look like that is coming apart a little bit, and I do see some oil right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a ratchet or a wrench and just tighten it up. Hopefully, it looks like it's leaking from this piece. Flashlight. From right here. So I'm gonna tighten this one up as well. But it looks like that's where we might have be having our leakage from here and from there. So maybe if I tie these down, it might help. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash this off later and tighten those down and see if that works. But for now, let's see if I can position this flashlight. Of course not. We're gonna remove those. So let me go ahead and grab a 14 millimeter socket and start loosening those up. All right, so here's the 14 millimeter socket. And this is going to take some time because I could only turn once. <laughs> so I'm going to be here for a minute. And I already got this one loose as well. But I'm also going to be here for a minute as well. Because I only have so much leverage. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off and I'll be right back. Come on camera, stop. Fuck. All right, I removed one screw. Now we're gonna remove this other one. All right, there it is. There's the second one. Here comes the bracket. And that's how you remove the bushing. You can tell it's all worn out. It's nice and flat versus the other one. Holy smokes, that looks tiny. Well, as long as the motherfucker fits, I guess. Damn, that shit is tiny as fuck. I hope they got me the right ones, man. The uh, fucking AutoZone. Always fucking shit up. Let me see. Well, before we install that, go ahead and fill it up with grease. All right, so I just grabbed some bearing grease and we're just gonna grease it all up. And grease everything up. And we're gonna clean this up. Grab a rag, grab a rag real quick, clean that up. All right, so I put the bracket on it. It looks like it fucking fits. It's perfect. Maybe that motherfucker's just hella stretched out already. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and slap this back inside. So we're gonna put it the exact same way we took it out. I'm sorry kind of hard to do this single-handed. There it is. Here goes the bracket. Right on top. Put in the screw. Oh, the whole fucking sway bar of moves. Sweet. Is there a 
There goes that one. And there goes that one. All right, now what we're gonna do is just screw them all the way down and secure them. And we should be done. Sweet, let me go ahead and secure it. Be right back. All right, there it is, nice and secure. Bushing is out, new bushing is in, and we're ready to rock and roll. Sweet, and that's how you switch out the uh, sway bar bushings. Sorry, <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> Man, I'm old and fat. <laughs> um, it's, it's a bitch to get to these. Um, I said in my last video, good thing I don't have to swap them out or change them out because it looks like it's a bitch. Uh, it's a lot easier than what it looks. Um, it's a fucking hassle though. It's time consuming, it's what it is. Um, but there it is. All replaced and ready to go. And that's how you swap those out. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.